and yourself alone. Because if you were the only sinner, only lost soul in the whole universe, Christ will still have come for you. And he comes for you now. And he's saying, whatsoever he says unto you, do it. He wants you to give your heart unto him. Your past life unto him. All your sins unto him. All the evil of your life, of your heart unto him. He says, come unto me. Or ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, life, salvation. Anywhere you are, want to have this salvation, this eternal life from Christ now, wherever you are, raise up your hand, your time for salvation has now come. Wherever you are, here at the Alpha location, there, online, anywhere in the world, the Lord is looking for you. Raise up that hand. And if you are raising up your hand, please stand up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. You are raising up your hand. Please stand up. And say, Lord, here I am. I cannot save myself. I come unto you. That you will save me. What you have told me to do, now I do. I turn away from my sin. I turn away from my evil. I turn unto you. And I know your grace is available for me. They'll give you grace, salvation, eternal life, and it's ready for you right now. Say, Lord, I come. Lord, I accept. Lord, I believe. Lord, I confess with my mouth that Christ is now my Savior and my Lord. That's what it takes now. That life eternal, life everlasting, is yours. I'm praying with you now. Keep on standing, Father. In the wonderful name of our Savior Jesus Christ. We come to you, asking that all these who have responded to your message of love, to your message of grace. And he turned from their sin. And he turned to Jesus the Savior. Save them now. Forgive them now. Turn their lives around for the better in Jesus' name. Give them your salvation. Cancel the sins of the past in their lives. Bring a new life to everyone. Thank you, Lord. When it's done, we accept, we believe, we confess. They are saved. In Jesus' name, we pray. Another amen. Let's keep on standing. Huh? Counselors are there. We'll call on our moderating overseer tonight to help us during this time of counseling. Counselors, let's spread everywhere. 
left, right, center, right to the roadside, beyond the canopy at the back there, far, far to the front, to the second field, people are spread everywhere. Please write their names in capital letters, make the addresses clear, put description where necessary, write their phone numbers, 11 digits. Please give them correct information. This is for us to follow up with you and to help you keep your faith. What God is doing in your life now is real. God is writing your names in the book of life. Let's have all members of the choir joining this counseling session. Remember, you are taking a lasting decision. God is doing something remarkable, unforgettable in your life. Give them correct information. And all of you giving your lives to Christ now, remember that tomorrow, during the break, precisely around 2.30 p.m., we will be having banquet with you in the assembly hall of the school, very close to the kitchen behind us, towards my right-hand side here. By 2.30 2 p.m. tomorrow, you are to be there. In fact, you will have your lunch there. You get there for the Converse Rally and Banquet. Those of you watching online or through the television, you will see a number that is displayed. You can send messages to us through text or WhatsApp. And if you are using your Android phone or iPad or any other device, you can also click the link there. It will lead you to the form you will fill for us to help you. We are not through yet. Thank you for sitting down quietly and be praying, waiting for the servant of God to come and release the miracle that God has sent him to give you. If you have never seen miracles before, you will see it tonight in Jesus' name. Get ready. If you have a lame man around you, a lame woman there, get ready. As it happened in the past, and as it's happening presently, it will happen here tonight through this servant of the living God. If you brought anybody, deaf or dumb, if you brought anybody who is blind, get ready for your miracle and testimony tonight. Or you are the one. All you need to do is to believe that as the man of God comes up to declare the word of power, you will receive your miracle. There will be shouting of joy. This is going to be a night of jubilation. So get set everywhere for your miracle. And as you are counseling the people, writing down their names and correct information, when you finish, remain in the congregation there. Because when the miracles happen, you bring out the people to share their testimonies because tonight 
there will be testimonies. You will say tonight that I never saw it on this fashion before. This is what God is preparing to do. Please, counselors, let's be very fast. Just take down their correct information. Go through all the clusters. In the middle, by my right, by my left, to the roadside. You see people right to the roadside there, right to the town road. And at the back, beyond this field to the next field, please go far, far to the back. And don't leave anyone out. And as we are seated, let's be praying now. Because very soon, the man of God is coming to pray the final prayer that will break the yoke. The final prayer that will bring down your miracle. And so be praying and be talking to God. That this lamb for our salvation and satisfaction is coming to visit you tonight. This is a practical night. You will see Jesus, the all-sufficient Jesus, demonstrating his power. So be praying and tell the Lord, visit me tonight. Some of you, you have brought your family challenges. Pray and to tell the Lord, tell him, talk to him now. That Lord, I have come. I will not live here without my miracle. You have brought your sicknesses, your oppression. Believe God tonight that you will not live here without your miracle. We have had the word. You have given your life to Christ. The next thing is for God to visit you with your miracle. Remember that tomorrow we are coming here in the morning by 8 a.m., the message will, the program will start, but by 7.30 you are seated. By 6 o'clock we take our breakfast, and you are seated by 7.30.